So, now we will do energy from C. See here, in this case there are three parts, first one is tidal energy, second one is wave energy, in that third one is we can write here ocean thermal energy. So, see here these are the, in the three forms we can get energy from C. So, C is a big source of energy because when sun's energy fall on the sea or the water, water absorbs heat energy and so that heat energy can be also used for generating electricity that we will do in this part ocean thermal energy. Now, first we come to tidal energy. You must be knowing why about tides, what are tides? You know due to gravity of moon, water rises, sea water rises and these are known as high tides and then this water comes down that is known as low tides. Because of there is because of this rise and fall of the water, there is a difference in simply you can say sea, uh, sea level water and this energy of uh, this energy of water while rising or falling down can be utilized, can be exploited to run turbines and by the turbines can be connected to generator and we can get electricity. But you know this is very simple to say, but it is very difficult to exploit this energy because there are only certain sites available in the world where the tides occur and also sometimes places of the sites changes. So, constructing dams and exploiting tidal energy is very difficult. Now, come to the next one wave energy, similarly sea waves when the wind blows sea waves are created, these waves also have got kinetic energy and this kinetic energy can be also used to run turbines and we can generate electricity. But as I have told previously for this similarly here exploitation of these this energy is also very difficult. Now, see the next one ocean thermal energy, this is due to heat or the temperature difference between the surface of the sea water and the bottom of the sea water. See, when sun's energy fall on the surface of the sea water, it absorbs heat and if the depth of the sea is around 2 kilometers, then we can get temperature difference of 20 degrees Celsius. This temperature difference or this temperature of the surface of the sea, we can use for, uh, for boiling volatile liquid like ammonia and then this ammonia can be used to ammonia vapors can be used to run turbine and we can get electricity. And again what happens the cold water from the bottom it is pumped up. So, again vapor condenses and we can get it again and again. So, this ocean thermal energy is uh, this one is very important part is here because it is available 24 hours there is no pollution. But main thing is here as I have told you you need at least temperature difference of 20 degree Celsius that is only available in the certain re, uh, certain parts of the sea not everywhere. 